The internet is very much alive and kicking. The first generation of internet sites primarily gave information. But with the rise of sites like Facebook and Amazon, the web has become increasingly interactive. On this web 2.0, it's mostly the user who produces the content. Without contributors, there would be no Facebook, and without people who post information on Wikipedia and their clips on YouTube, there would be no interaction on these sites. Meanwhile, most people have become familiar with Web 2.0. Blogging, tagging, social networking and social bookmarking have paved the way to a next step in the development of the web. The step to the intelligent and omnipresent Web 3.0. Web 3.0 is not totally different from the web we know now. It is in many respects a continuation of existing techniques. Think of the so-called recommender systems that make a personal approach by a website possible. Amazon has cleverly used this system for a long time now, by offering their clients products that other people with the same interests bought before them. And on Last FM, you can listen online to music that caters to your personal wishes. By using smart systems, these sites are in a continuous learning process and they anticipate what their users like or dislike. Important for sites like Last FM or Amazon is that a song or a book gets extra information added by the user. No sudden change of the internet, it changes gradually. What does change quickly is the look and feel of the web. Simply speaking, the Internet is a web full of appliances that communicate with each other by exchanging information. As more and more everyday appliances are connected to the Internet, think of telephones, washing machines and cars, the web is more present, but it will become less and less visible. No big separate computer, but invisibly present in everyday appliances. When, moreover, all these appliances start communicating with each other through the Internet, this may lead to useful additional services measured to meet our individual needs. For the time being, we are not yet dealing with an all-knowing, omniscient computer which comes close to or even surpasses human intelligence. Writing computer programs which, in a human manner, convert data into useful information also known as the semantic web, appears quite difficult. But the web undoubtedly evolves into an environment which is intelligent and which will meet our wishes more often, more easily and automatically. New services develop because data from various sources can be linked more easily. Moreover, with the good and often wireless infrastructure, these new internet services are always and everywhere available your online agenda becomes a personal assistant which all by itself, for instance on the basis of your profile on LinkedIn, Facebook or other information, will check your possibilities for new appointments and even take traveling times into account. Your destination and itinerary too will have been sorted out by links between restaurant sites, GPS information and local weather services. EPN, the Dutch think tank on the impact of information technology, approaches Web 3.0 from various points of view and draws attention to its implications for society.